absolutely roasting in here already, so amazing atmosphere. It'll be slightly different atmosphere because there isn't a travelling Irish uh, support, so it'll be very, very pro Welsh. But it's only one man on the far side for Ireland. He's going his own as well. Again, now the easy, easy. easy. And Jamie Heaslip canters over, and the Welsh defence will not be happy. If you're Welsh, it'd be quite nice, to be honest. Oh, it's a poor kick. That was uh, one you'd expect Paddy Jackson to put over. Yes. It was an excellent cover tackle by Dom Day. McFadden on halfway. Hibbard flew into that one. But it's still Ireland possession. I tell you, they're losing that short side extremely well. They spot the, they spot the overlap, they spot the numbers on the left hand side, and they've used it very, very cleverly. Redden picks and goes. He creates the extra man, and they're asking questions of the, of the short side. Well, they're treating it like a game, obviously. Well, is they're going he? for goal. Yeah. That's Much a better strike from Paddy Jackson. Concentration back and rewarded with three more points to put Ireland eight ahead, almost midway through the first half. And here he comes again to Ryan. Jackson, Earls, oh, good feet inside so well. That's Just a... short of the line, is he? Glenn Jackson has a look held up. and it's held up. held up. What's the feet? Plenty of time. Bang. Left, right, leave Scott Williams for dead. I tell you, that's a very good tackle initially by Amos. If they get up on the right hand side, Amos has, Amos has come across. Darren Cave straight over. All kinds of possibilities for Ireland. Wales are watching the blind side, and the short ball to the Ulsterman gives Darren Cave a try, and Ireland the second. Just watch this. What happened? Watch the scrum. The Welsh back row has been turned the other way. There's no communication. That's an easy try from a, a very simple angle. That is. Just watch. You got nine. He's looking for the back rowers, but the scrum has been turned the other way. So there is no back row filling that hole. It's such an easy, easy try. Maybe lack of communication between, you know, the half backs and the insides. I'm just. Yeah, I think the difficulty there. I think Justin Tipperick's given all his weight to the scrum. hasn't yeah. got, hasn't got off. It's a 50-50 situation for him. Mike Phillips was obviously expecting him on the inside, and Justin has stayed down in the scrum. So well read by Ireland, but it's poor, poor miscommunication from Wales. Well, two more, makes it 15-0 to Ireland, and they're well worth that lead. And again, they're exerting pressure on that scrum, and Jarvis just popping up on the far side. Ooh, dangerous ball, and Trimble read it, and Keith Earls is there! And it's an easy run home for Keith Earls. One of the few chances for Wales to try and attack comes to grief, and they pay the price as Earls gets Ireland third. There's the pass. It's a very, very good hit by Trimble. He read it well, but the ball was, you know, was going to ground before that. And when you're on the front foot, here we are. The ball bounces up, and Earls just runs it in. I think the pass, if it goes to Cuthbert, there's the, there's the, that was the hole. There's the hole there, but he's ready so well. Just there's Cuthbert. You can see he's trying to do quick hands here. He knows yes. he's going to get hit. He's trying to flick it on. Fair play to Trimble. Ball added to that as well. The scrum is going backwards. So the Irish boys were on their, you know, on the front feet, on their, on their toes, while the Welsh boys were attacking on their heels. Brilliantly read from Trimble. Yeah, if you're on the back foot, you've got to just take your medicine and put it in the air. Again, plenty of forwards waiting, and it's Cave. He wants to get a second. And they're short on the right hand side now. This is is he give and take they score. McFadden to Felix Jones, Eli Walker saves the day. And an offside, I think West defence. The, the hand is out. And there he is. It's interesting to see what they do here. Now, whether they go for goal 
if it's a friendly or they take a scrum, they would feel that they've got so much dominance. It's a very comfortable performance by Ireland. Yeah, just like we said earlier, I think we'll just need to settle this down a bit. No, there's not many senior players out there. Yeah. And Dan Baker has come down to the front, and he's the one who gets it. Tippy Rick slips it, Richard Hibbard! And it's as easy as that. And at last, the Welsh fans have something to cheer. Yeah, good to see a bit of innovation. They were all expecting the catch and drive. Went to the front, like we said, nice safe ball. See, Mike Ross has stuck his head in there. Mike Ross, the tight head for stuck his head in expecting the drive. Tipper comes round and it's a simple two on one. Probably something they looked at on the video. That's a very well worked try, that is. Very well worked try. Lovely strike from James Hook. Lovely pick. And the crowd have found their voice. Jake Ball. Yeah. Amos tries to slide it through to Walker. Will it stay in? Yes! That could be a fantastic finish from Eli Walker. Does he but think he's got it, it done? I'm not sure Did if he, he thinks. pressure on it or not? He doesn't know if he's got it, though, and that's always a good sign. If it's a try or not, if it is a try, no, 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 it's a fantastic okay, finish. I, oh, I don't know. Oh, did it just slip out of his grasp? I think he's just lost Fingertips. that. Fingertips. Let's see the separation. If you slow it down, the separation between the hands. He's lost it. Just lost it, just bounced it. Let's have a look. Unbelievable effort. I think he's just lost it. OK, he knocked it forward, so it would be a scrum, it. but it's time up anyway now, so half-time. Well, it's a 9.7 for the dive, but unfortunately, no points. Hook. Scott Williams. With the depth. Tyler Morgan's turn to spill it this time. And Wales just can't get that continuity because of all what? these mistakes. He caught him there, Ross Moriarty. Yeah, just swing an arm there, didn't he, Zebo? Yeah. And there's a flag up. Yeah. yeah. If he's seen this, he could be in a spot to bother. With, with two French assistant referees, anything could happen here. <laughs> a Kiwi ref. Yeah, they're the two, Glenn. Okay, Glenn, what, what I've seen here is uh, swinging, dangerous swinging arm, collecting the uh, number 23's head. Yeah. So I, from I think, with a yellow card. That's I a agree. yellow card, yeah. I think he's called that right. Zebo, it's a swinging arm, right? Um, but Zebo, the only saving grace for Moriarty is he is going down. Zebo is dropping down, so it's I a yellow card. It's a swinging arm, and it's hit his head, so I'm sorry, you have to play the bit. Yeah, that's a, I think that's a good call, you know, that is a good call because it is a swinging arm. It's Island ball. Nine one! The Gad Strauss in control. Oh, that's uh, There they go, rumbling towards the Welsh try line. We've just turned them back in, and Mike Phillips does enough to prevent Strauss from getting over the line. They well to defend this. Real pressure on the Welsh try line as Redden waits and goes himself, but is knocked back by Nicky Smith. I think it's a penalty as well. Zebo gets there, they don't need the penalty. That well, is too easy on the short side. The defence on the short side has been really poor. They haven't numbered off. They've exploited it very well. Redden has spotted it, and that's a very simple try. They've been clinical again, one chance. Nicky Smith. With offside, but that's just too easy, isn't it? Yeah. You know, they've got a couple of men on the short side. It is difficult for Alex Cuthbert but he's into, you know, if he stays out, they might go inside him. The pressure was coming. It's just good patient play again from Ireland. Nearly got over the driving line out, kept the composure. Just across the face from Jackson. 
Leaving now Green. Controlling the tackle area, they're far more aggressive. Any ball that Wales get, is, uh, they're slowing it down and, and making a poor ball. That's the shape oh, Wales there, yeah. Steal by Jamie Heaslip. Heaslip's been everywhere as well this afternoon. And there could be an overlap here, Jackson. Murphy, great play. McFadden, simple from Ireland. But they pick up the tempo and they're hitting them in. There he is, close again. So what? There's a few nominations for one of the match. Unfortunately, they're all in green. Darren Cave. Hanscom holds on for dear life, but they're a men's fair again. And Felix oh, Jones. They're picking out their men and they're crossing with ease, Ireland. It all starts from here. Wales have lost their shape. They've brought a few replacements on. And this island have been, as they always are, a nuisance in the breakdown. There we are. It's a lovely ball, but there's, you know, there's one. There's no communication there. <coughs> if one goes in, you all go in, and if and if you don't go in, you all stay out. So you've got to go up and push. It's very difficult when you're near the try line. But if, whatever you do, you all do it together. You either all in. Or you stay all out and push, and there was one in and one out. So it was, an, it was a great ball, but an easy finish. Not been a great day for Paddy Jackson, though. It has been for the captain, Jamie Heaslip. He's been immense. He's tackled on Moriarty. And Scum. Walker. Good hands by Tipperick, lovely hands by Tipperick to Morgan. Tyler Morgan back inside to Alan Amos to Justin Tipperick. And that's what we wanted to see all game. Wales's counter-attacking ability, great handling. Lovely try by Justin Tipperick, far, far too late to have any bearing on the game. But at least they're doing something before the end it's a brilliant and what happens is Eli Walker goes on the outside it's a lovely give and take good running there but it's great support by Tipperick Hallam Amos Tyler Morgan all in all just watch this one this is the key he gets on the outside sucks the last man in there I think it's Madigan which creates a space on the outside and you have Tyler Morgan keeps the ball alive great support play Hallam Amos and as ever like every good number seven on the end of everyone's work. Gareth Anscombe gets his first points in international rugby with a great strike. One last effort from Wales to see if they can create the bit of magic. They have done on a couple of occasions, but very, very fleetingly, and I Ireland have been comfortable. I, I can play. Well kept alive by James King. He supported well. They, uh, fair Amos. play to him, Hallam Amos. He's run some very good lines in support, yeah. He's, there. He's been a standout for Wales, I think, isn't he, Amos? Mm. Oh, Walker. Spin. Beautifully out of the tackle, held by Best. Moriarty. Wales looking to finish with a flourish as Scott Andrews sets it up. Lovely one-handed flick up from Lloyd Williams. Best is in there. Leave it too, leave it! We'll still have it. Moriarty again. It's on. Gareth Anscombe over the top to Alex Cuthbert. Cuthbert slides home. Wales do get a third. But really, it's scant reward for the afternoon. These are what friendlies are all about. They're trying to work on your, on your weaknesses. And they know now what they have to do for a fortnight when they go to Dublin. <laughs> well, Eli Walker came very, very close at the end of the first half. But Alex Cuthbert managed to finish in the opposite corner right at the end of the second. Wales have the last word, but Ireland have the last laugh. Second time up. Great finish all round by Wales, but a lot to be desired in between. Five tries to three, Wales prepare for the group of death, but it's Ireland's day definitely at the Millennium Stadium.
and Ireland prepare well for their World Cup. Wales have a lot of questions to be answered. It finished Wales 21, Ireland 35.